What's up my loves? It's Miss Montana DeLeon here with a quick relationship topic. Um, do all men cheat? I honestly say that not every man cheats. Some men have may, may have cheated in past relationships. Some men are cheating right now. Some men may screw up and cheat in the future. But there are some good men out there. You just have to find them and hope that they stay dedicated uh, for the duration of the relationship. Um, but I had I had a conversation recently with a girlfriend of mine, Diana. Hey, T. Um, and she was just like, why, I, why are all men dogs? Like all of them are no good and every one of them cheated. I'm like, I'm like, yo, chill. That's just the ones that you've come in contact with thus far. There are good men out there. It's just that you need to meet them at the stage in their life where they don't value the quantity of women that they can sleep with. Their values are totally different. It's all about family and business and future and building and retirement. Because the conversation between a man and a boy, it's going to be like this. The boy's conversation with his boys is going to be like, yo, you know, I had, you know, I hit that girl the other night from, um, that came by the office the other day that delivered the package. Oh, yeah, I hit that last night, you know, yeah, whatever. My wife was, you know, hanging out with her girls. My sister, obviously, and, and the boys are like, you know, amping it on, like, yeah, for real, dog, that's what's up. Props, props to you. That's a boy's conversation between him and his boys. When you finally reach a man who is at a certain point in his life where the quality, I'm sorry, the quantity of women that he's hitting, quote unquote, is not important anymore. He's gotten all that out of his system and he realizes he's uh, at a stage in his life where he needs to focus on retirement, his family, um, his home that he's built, uh, businesses that him and his wife are probably uh, building together, um, you know, a, a new baby on the way. The conversation like this with his boys is more so like, yeah, so uh, Robin and I are expecting a new son uh, in April and, you know, we are hoping to launch the business in about two more months, you know, just give us enough time to get it, get it off the ground and uh, before the baby gets here and uh, we just, you know, deposited such and such amount of money in our uh, Roth IRA and um, I just um, I just got a uh, little Timmy and two that uh, private school over there that cost us such amount for the conversation is totally different his boys are co-signing that like really oh man that's amazing I'm so happy for you and the wife and you know congratulations on the new business you guys are opening and you know I'm happy that little Timmy is going to that private school that's really really hard to get into and the, the conversation is different when you value certain things in life that's going to reflect how you respond or how you act or how you carry yourself in a relationship with someone so if your value is how many women you can hook up with and how many positions you can get them in that's how you're going to act in a relationship you can kind of project what kind of future you're going to have with a man by his conversation, his goals, his values, his morals. So, some men you may meet that, <laughs> depending on what stage a man is in his life, it's kind of going to be the outcome, kind of, more than likely. It's going to be the outcome of the relationship that you'll have with this man. If he's his value is women and sex and quantity that's kind of going to be where you are going to end up relationship wise with this guy and if this man is in a stage of his life where he's concerned about the future concerned about retirement concerned about um his family uh then, then that's the kind of relationship you're kind of going to have or you can look forward to. You just have to meet a man in a certain stage of his life in order to not have to always have that mindset. All men cheat, all dudes are dogs. Like, it's a different, it's different kind of men out there. You have to meet them at the right stage in their life to really get a hold of a good man. When he's at that stage, 
value that man, take care of that man, back that man up, partner up with that man. You're going to experience men or boys that just aren't there yet. So they're still out there playing the field and sowing their wild oats and it's, it's just going to be men like that. Just when you spot all the signs and experience those mishaps, just be woman enough to leave that relationship. But I just wanted to touch on that real quick. Not all men are dogs. You have to meet a man in the right stage of his life, meaning the stage where he values family and future and not at all quantity and women and cheating and all that other good, bad stuff. But anyway, I just wanted to touch on that real quick. Love some.